We've done needling before. Uh, for this, really, it's just going after the the perennials. Right How are we doing so, Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't prepare myself. Yeah, actually. you're okay. <laughs> yeah. This one, this, it, 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 it's a thin, wimpy muscle that runs along. It's not too bad. Right, just so. don't cry in front of the camera. <laughs> it's not as painful as it looks. Hey everybody, I'm gonna get an update today on my ankle and I'll take you along with me. I'm parked outside of Wisconsin Orthopedic Physical Therapy right now. Uh, Dr. Mike is the owner, I believe, of this, of this practice and I've come to see him in the past for other issues and really trust him a lot. He's been super helpful for me in the past. So I wanted to get another person looking at the injury and also my biggest question today for him is really gonna be what to expect timeline-wise and also ask him about X-ray, MRI, like if he feels like it's necessary or if I'm on the right track. Uh, it's been two and a half weeks now, so you know, I'm definitely not well. Like it's, the sw swelling has gone away, but it's kind of been replaced with pain now. So I'm curious to see, curious to see what he thinks. Comfortable in here, and Dr. Roberts will be in very soon. Okay. Thank you. Knock, knock. How's it going? Good. How are you? you? Yeah. He's What's new? I saw you sent me a uh, a video. I did not get to watch the video yet, though. So do you have it? You want to see it? Yeah, yeah I sure. should. <laughs> yeah, you can check out what happened. Uh, so watch my my right foot here. Oh man! How long ago was that? It was about two and a half weeks ago. Oh, so this is fresh. Is that fresh? <laughs> Hi everyone, Dr. Mike Roberts. Uh, I am the owner uh, and one of the physical therapists here at Wisconsin Orthopedic Physical Therapy. Uh, we have four other PTs here as well. Um, and Ian and I have known each other for about five? Maybe six or seven, I think. Yeah, yeah, about yeah, five to seven years. I uh, worked on his lower back. And today we have a high grade two ATFL tear. The, the ATFL is a ligament in the ankle. It's most commonly sprained ligament in the body. Um, so it's a very common condition that we see here at the clinic. Um, uh, typically, almost every time the injury occurs by rolling the foot inward. And along with that, and also part of Ian's diagnosis, is a um, kind of a, a mid-grade two uh, CFL uh, tear, as long as a tendon that runs right along the outside of the ankle, um, called the peroneal tendon, that has a little bit of a tendonitis going on with that. Honestly, I'm surprised you're walking as well as you are. Yeah, based on that video. If there is some kind of tear, like partial full, like full, whatever. Oh, I, I, I can tell you right now that there is. There is a tear. Yes. Yeah. So does that, uh, is it helpful to get that, the MRI or imaging at all, or does it not make any difference? I'll save you all that money and I'll tell you exactly what it would say on an MRI. And it would say a high grade two uh, ATFL and, uh, tear. Yeah. Um, and then probably yeah, like a, a low to mid uh, CFL tear. So, and then probably some inflammation along that, that peroneal tendon, but just what we want to do is for the ligament, we need to build up a ton of stability okay. for that. Uh, for the, the tendon there, we just want to make sure that it doesn't become an issue. So we want to get inflammation down and take care of that. We've done needling before. Uh, for this, really it's just going after the, the peroneals. Right How are we doing so, Yeah. I, I didn't prepare myself. Actually. Yeah, you're okay. <laughs> yeah. This one, this, it, 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 it's a thin, wimpy muscle that runs along. <laughs> it's not too bad. Right, just so. don't cry in front yeah. of the camera. So. <laughs> Do you want to sit up or lay back for this? I don't care either way. Would it be helpful to, I got shorts on. No, I was, okay. I was gonna catch it right there. So it's, yeah, uh, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen this chance? Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, frick. So okay. this, this so is dry memories. needling. It's, uh, I guess the best way I can explain it, it's like an extension of my hands. Uh, so if, if I want to release a muscle, I could just take my death grip and get in there and dig it out. Um, instead of a very nice fine needle that I can bypass that layer of skin, fat, fascia, and get right into the muscle, stimulate it, and uh, get it really soft. sound it makes? Yep, <laughs> just like that, or, or boop. It, it depends, it depends on the muscle. I have a lot of experience with this. <laughs> in the past, I've had low back issues, and, and dry needling was like the only thing that released the, the like, tension or the tightness. So Ian's, Ian's favorite, the dry needling, um, kind of it replaces the soft tissue work that we typically do. So instead of taking my, my steel fit, you know, thumbs and fingers and running them along his ankle and up his leg um, and 
creating bruising and a, and a lot of soreness, I can use a, a very fine needle. And you don't really feel the needle go in. What you feel is uh, us being able to physically touch that trigger point. A trigger point is an area of overcontracted muscle fibers um, that uh, create a lot of, of pain and soreness. It's just a much more efficient and effective, as Ian has seen with his lower back uh, in the past, way of, of releasing these muscles. It looks a lot worse than what it actually is. I'm not saying it's fun, but it's worth it. So. Oh, totally, yeah. Like, it, the back issue I had, th this was the only thing that helped. Yeah, it's, usually when you watch this, you're like, there's no way I would have that done, but it's, it's not as painful as it looks. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's Probably see his foot moving on that a little bit. Getting that muscle to twitch. There we go. Last one of the day. <laughs> the first practitioner I went to see was a, a Cairo. <clears throat> YouTube comments had a field day with him. They're going to love this too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this witch doctor? Yeah. <laughs> what is he doing? I'm just gonna write a couple things down. If you wanna kinda of stand up here and just yeah. shake it out a little bit. Uh, as far as kind of a timeline with this, it, it's all very different. Uh, in, in Ian's case here, uh, high grade twos are some of the longest recoveries. Usually I'm looking at like a, a 12 to 16 week uh, recovery. You know, in his case, we're looking probably more on the lower and more about a, you know, I'd say 10 to 12 week recovery. Um, the bruising and swelling based on the video and, and how far he rolled it, um, it actually looks really good for only being two and a half weeks out. So I'm, I'm, I'm very encouraged by that uh, and, and Ian has an excellent progress uh, prognosis moving forward. Here at Wisconsin Orthopedic Physical Therapy, uh, our big thing is, uh, even just here in Wisconsin, you do not need a referral for physical therapy um, and kind of what sets us apart from other clinics is we are extremely hands-on, so we're, uh, you know, we, we don't make you come in. We're not going to waste your time, money, and energy for us to, you know, sit here and watch you exercise. We are providing hands-on treatment. Uh, every session is one-on-one, -on -one, and um, we're going to give you the tools on the strength that you do need to build, but you, you know, things that you can do at home. So um, you can find us at www.wiscopt.com. That's W-I-S-C-O-P-T.com. So good visit there with, with Dr. Mike. I think for me, the, the most important thing is just now having some, some kind of assurance or confidence after Dr. Rich, super helpful. Uh, Dr. Mike just sees a lot more of this specific type of, of injury. And so just to have him be able to move my foot and be like, yeah, this is the problem. Uh, extremely, extremely helpful. And feel like I don't have to go, you know, do MRI or x-ray. I totally would have, but he seems super confident in where we're at. So really appreciate uh, Dr. Mike's insight and, and help. And now it's just a matter of sticking to the, the exercises and the recovery. I'll be honest, it's a lot, it's a much longer time window than what I was hoping for, but, but it is what it is. And it's nice, you know, nice to hear, I guess it's moving along uh, faster more quickly than than it, it might otherwise so so that's good but just got to stick with it thanks for watching thanks for your support really appreciate it and i'll, I'll keep doing whatever i can to get back out there as soon as possible